Good evening. Well, Prince Harry has been back in Nottingham to mark World Mental Health Day. He was visiting an inner city youth project that he's actually been supporting for the last six years. Well, the Duke of Sussex has described the St Anne's estate as a place that is very special to him. At the heart of it all, his work with the local community recording studio. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, is there for us tonight. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, and yeah, this is a place that's really buzzing with creativity. People are making musical careers here, and having Prince Harry's backing has made a huge difference. In fact, he's so passionate about this project that he's made several private visits here. But uh, today was his sixth official royal visit to St Anne's, with a warm welcome, as always, for the boss here, Trevor Rose. Now, he got to know Prince Harry well over the last six years, and it's a day that began just up the road from here at the Nottingham Academy. Sarah Teal was there. Prince Harry arrived to a warm welcome at the Nottingham Academy in St Anne's. Hi, he was straight inside to talk to younger students in a nurture session discussing mental health and emotional well-being. What did Prince Harry have to say to the students? Oh, he was so inspirational. Um, just talking about inspiring them, dealing with bullying and um, loads of different dilemmas that they go through in life. And he just kind of reassured them that everybody experiences it and it's OK. They didn't realise that people like how he got bullied as well. It made them feel a lot better about themselves. It's World Mental Health Day, so was he talking to you about how to cope with stress and cope um, with stress at school? He spoke to me about confidence, because I feel like that's like a big... That's a big thing for young people. How are you? Prince yeah. Harry has visited this school several times. And you and him are old friends, aren't you? <laughs> I like to think so. We've, he has said it on TV, so I yes, we are very good friends. Want to meet first, this is Barney. Hi, Barney. Next was a meet and greet with Barney the therapy dog. Do you report? Oh. <laughs> Barney helped students in this smaller reading group. Did you see what you just done? Yeah. Did you see what you just achieved? Yeah. Without even thinking about it. That's amazing. The Duke of Sussex went on to speak to Year 11 pupils, urging them to support each other and seek help if they feel stressed. As he left, there was a present from 14-year-old Elena. It's a little doggy Harley for little Archie. Love that. Thank you very much. And Prince Harry had a surprise for Elena, who's been recovering from a brain tumour. I've been sending letters to Meghan for a while now, and he had a little voice note from Meghan saying, get well soon and, like, thanks for all the letters and everything. What does that mean to you? It's amazing. From Nottingham Academy, it was on to the community recording studios, where Prince Harry has been so many times before. That's where I was headed with this. And the group delivered an extract from Hip Opera, a performance that addresses life on the streets. <laughs> this is a community clearly very special to Prince Harry. Today's visit over, but it surely won't be his last. Hi, Harry. Sarah Teal, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham. Well, back here at the Community Recording Studio, Prince Harry's charities helped to fund this really impressive photography set. Not just that, you might be able to hear Lily over here. Lily, can I just interrupt you here? You met Prince Harry for the first time today, didn't you? Really excited, I guess. Yeah, I did. He came into the studio and he was talking to all of us. So cool, so calm, just leant on the chair and was just asking us how it's going at the studio and how it's improving every single day. Really, briefly, Jay and Lashan, what difference has coming here made to the two of you? It's changed my life, like having... Um, my first steps here, coming into music and now I'm doing music properly. I'm being, it's just helped me a lot. It's changed my whole life around. What about you, Lishan? CRS has helped me a lot um, with my depression. I've had it for like four years and this is a great place. It has a lot of outlets and it's like a family. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Let's talk to the man in charge. Trevor, where's Trevor? Over here. Uh, Prince Harry's more like a, a friend than a royal visitor to you, yeah. isn't he? Um, how valuable is his support here? So valuable. I mean, the numbers of young people have increased, their interest is, awareness is growing, people are asking about new programmes. So it's been a great development over six years. Now, the Prince originally got involved here, didn't he, to tackle gangs and violence. So how much difference do you think it's all making in St Anne's? It's an ongoing project, but a lot of the people that we've employed, we've employed over 30 young people now through the local community, and that's been a great... Um, bit of you know interest for the young people and a journey for them mentoring we're running after school programs we're working inside schools 
So it's been great. I mean, it's, it gets better and better. You've been discussing some future plans with him today, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Um, best thing I can say about that is watch this face. You're not going to give us any tips? Not right now. No hints. Trev, lovely to speak to you as always. Let's just play you out very briefly here with a little bit of music from Le Charm. Jeremy, thank you so much. What a brilliant, brilliant place that Great is. Great project, isn't it?